Hello, my friends. We are at the SHOT Show today, and we're going to talk about machine monitoring, specifically with my buddy Andrew and Datanomics. If you've watched the MTD channel, which you probably have because we're incredibly famous, and thank you all for watching, then you've probably seen Datanomics and some of the incredible testimonials from around the country that just keep coming through. Now, talking with Andrew off camera, he's had a lot of customers and potential clients come in and just kind of say, man, I've been burnt by machine monitoring before. I'm not really interested in learning about it or jumping back into it because what do they say? You know, fool me once and then the fool me twice thing. I don't want to say it wrong, so I'll let you finish the sentence. But Andrew, let's talk about some of the conversations you've had at SHOT Show so we can explain to the audience probably what they're going through as well. Absolutely. I mean, the main thing here is the fact that people walk around and they look at monitoring systems and they think they're all the same. They think either they're too simple to be meaningful or they have too much going on with operator input and they're just getting overwhelmed with data. The no operator input message is winning because our customers are getting more guns out the door and that's what everyone's here for. They're trying to sell guns and the only way to do that is you're trying to make guns. And you guess what? Every single part of our system is designed based around feedback we get from customers on what actually will work in a shop floor environment. Oh, you got tiger blood you're winning so much. I tell you that. You remember that saying, of course, as well. Now, Andrew, if it's okay with you, exactly what you said. I was just with your friends over at Paramount in Utah, and they said the exact same thing. They said we had one system. It was so basic, we could have said that we saw the red light when it was blinking. Then they had another system that was overly complicated, and they didn't have the people and the resources to dedicate to that much information to actually figure out what it was telling them. But then Greg came in, in the middle of the morning, I believe, like four or five in the morning to make sure that they were taken care of. And to this day, they went from four machines on a trial to another 17 after that. I imagine that's some of the conversations you're having right here, right now as well. Absolutely. I mean, seeing is believing when it comes to this stuff, right? And we are here to help manufacturers create more parts, but more specifically, we're here to automate the data in and we're here to give you data out that you can actually use. And that's number one here, is that it doesn't matter if you get a pile of data at your feet, right? Somebody needs to be able to take that and use it in a way that's meaningful. So we're here to support you guys 24 seven and we're here to create workflows that matter for you. So we're kind of talking in a, in a general overview of we want you to be successful. We want you to the, get the information that will help you be successful. And I want to ask you a question because there's an audience out there right now going, well, how do they know what's going to make me successful, right? So what would you say are some of the key attributes that where Datanomic stands out that says, look, we're able to get you this information, this information, this information, and you see a lot of success coming from the current machine shops you're working with that would agree with what you're about to say? Absolutely. I mean, it comes down to the idea of we have workflows defined for different roles within the company and we have them defined for an idea of coming in the morning, you open up your email, you have stuff right there for you that you can look at, it gives you context into what happened yesterday, and then you're able to go and have your guy doing your quoting, pull up a report, boom, it's right there for him. You know, there's no hunting and chasing for it. And specifically, we just generally put things where you need them. You have TVs right on the floor there. Guess what? You look up, boom, you know where to go. It's a heat map, right? I mean, we're just here to help you guys know where to perform and where to improve your margins. And with that being said, we're going to do the website. And the only reason I don't say the website as in a .com is because it's not. Almost everyone's a .com, but you're an I.O., but it is datanomics.io right here, D-A-T-A-N-O-M-I-X.io. If you want to learn more, reach out to them or tune into the MTD channel where you will find a ton of customer testimonials. As Andrew's phone is ringing, we are closing out this conversation. Andrew, thank you so much for jumping on camera with me, buddy. Absolutely. Thank you very much, guys.